What's going on everybody? I'm headed to the junkyard this morning. Back in January, I found a 2000 XC in a local yard. I went to pull some parts off of it and was not prepared for how rusty everything was. Should have, I mean, come on now, I should know better. But I wasn't and it was also too cold to mess around with it, didn't feel like it. So I'm going back today. It's April, it's a little warmer, it's sunny out. I came prepared. Hopefully I can pull the two front axles and the angle gear. We'll see what else there is, but I'm hoping to get those parts just because it'd be nice to have spares for my car. As anybody with a P80 knows, parts are getting harder and harder to find, and they're also more and more expensive. So it'd be really nice if I could just have those two as spares. So we'll see, hopefully this works out. This is what I was talking about last time. Look how crusty this all is. I was hoping to get the calipers or something when I was here last time too, but looks like it's been sitting for a while. I don't know if that exhaust pipe is to this car or not, but. Oh, yep, it is. Angle gear's still in. Dope. I guess I'll get to pulling that out. You know, it'd probably help if I disconnected the end light there. There we go. I guess we start going for the angle gear. So before I jump into that, I really want something to lay on. We got a bunch of rain. It was wet. And some idiot went through here and smashed all of the back windows. So this trunk is open. Everything is soaking wet. Gross. Come on, minivan. Ooh, hey there. Oh, that's soaking wet. Nope. Maybe the front. <sighs> Too good of a conscience to just let that go on the floor. Ooh. Tape deck aux cord. Handy. All right, no. It's not gonna get done if I stand here looking for math. <laughs> Alright, found some more plastic mats. Yeah, let's get under here. Oh, uh, polio water. Uh. All right, well, I'm not laying in glass, so that's good. Ooh, Spectre. Ooh. Oh, wow. It has a drive shaft. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I hope I brought Allen heads to do that. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I just assumed it wouldn't have 
a drive shaft because so many don't. Mine didn't. I mean, everyone you see never has a drive shaft. Wow. I can't believe that. Um, well, I've got some. I hope these are the right size. I've got a ball head Allen that I typically use because those provide the reach that you need. These ones are a pain to get in there. Oh man, that really sucks. Well, whatever. I'll make it happen. Breaker bar counter held against the lugs. Um, go. on this one that's pretty rounded out all that oil all that oil spray just kept it from just natural never seize it's gonna be seized in there like unless I loosen up the angle gear and then go at it from there maybe I don't know I'm glad that exhaust pipe's out of my way actually Yeah, 14s. All right, and I got clearance for nothing. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Clearance for anything, just a wrench. I assume it's good because the drive shaft was still connected to it, but it wasn't making any noise. So this is cool. Whoa. 
Yeah, it's definitely been recovered, but I don't even care. Holy cow. Oh my god. Jackpot, look at this seat. Wow. What's the passenger seat look like? Passenger seat looks probably about the same as mine. Back seats look the same as mine, really. My back seats aren't bad. Yeah, it's definitely been recovered. You can tell because like this leather is different, you know? Not the same. Um, this is like way more supple. It feels like too, like, like this is all you know, kind of crusty, but you can see like that versus that. It's not the same. Even this is not really the same like grain as that, but you know what? I mean, who knows what company this is from? There's only two really that do the seat covers. Mine is starting to split here. And if I can just take the whole seat out, instead of having to recover mine, or at least have a spare, like I could recover my original seat. Yeah, like you can see here, the stitching is kind of different and stuff, but, and this is kind of floppy, you know? It doesn't matter though. It's a non-ripped seat. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe this, I'm so stoked. You never, they're always, they're always messed up. It's less work to pull a seat than it is to recover it, so let's do it. Sorry I didn't film the seat coming out and I underestimated the amount of size I would need on the memory card and ran out of space at the junkyard. So I'm back home, I was able to unload the memory card and now I'm gonna unload the car. I hope you enjoyed walking around the junkyard with me. I'll bring you along on any future adventures. I try to keep an eye out because, you know, you never know what you can find. Cheap angle gear, a reskinned seat. It's all good for these older cars. So thanks everybody. Thank you.